hey guys welcome to drupal learn today we are going to see how to create a bootstrap base sub theme so first you have to install your bootstrap theme which i've already done and i've enabled it as a default theme so if you go to the page as you can see the bootstrap theme is already enabled now we have to create a sub theme based on this bootstrap main theme now why do we need a sub theme if you would like to make to changes to any of these templates let's go ahead and inspect as you can see here this article is coming from themes country bootstrap templates node node.html.twig so if you'd like to make any changes to this twig file for design related purposes you can directly edit this file and make the changes but doing so whenever there is an update for this contributed theme those changes will be overridden and your changes will be lost so the best approach is to create a sub theme based on this bootstrap and do your changes in the template file of the sub theme so let's get started let's go to themes country bootstrap starter kits let's copy this folder let's go back create a new folder custom and let's paste the starter kit folder theme name now let's rename this this is going to be our custom theme so let's just rename it as elearn so elearn is our new sub theme based on the bootstrap main theme so the first thing you have to do make changes is rename these files theme name starter kit yml rename it to elearn dot info dot yml and this one elearn dot libraries dot yml and this to elearn dot theme now let's go ahead and open the elearn info dot yml file now as you can see here the type is theme base theme is bootstrap the core is 8.x and core version requirement is 8 and 9 so that it supports for d9 as well now under the name you have to put your sub theme name elan so the description is a drupal bootstrap 3 based sub theme which you can leave as such in the libraries extent this we will get to the later part for now it is not recommended though Let's just see print elearn.framework. Let's just comment this out, which we don't need for now. Let's save this. Let's go back. And now if you go to appearances should be able to see your bootstrap 3 sub elan a drupal bootstrap 3 base sub theme let's go ahead and install this now this theme is being installed now set this as a default one make sure to flush the cache to pick up all the templates and other changes that we need let's go ahead 
and as you can see let's go ahead and duplicate this tab and let's refresh this now if you try to inspect this as you can see the output is still from themes country bootstrap templates node in node.html because we are referencing the base theme so the templates are being still called from the original parent theme how we can override this let's go to the folder again let's go to the custom theme templates as you can see the template folder is empty so go ahead to the base theme bootstrap templates and it is under node copy the node.html better copy the folder itself now come back to your custom theme elan templates and paste it here now you have your node.html .tray. now go ahead and refresh the site It's not taking any effect now go ahead and flush the cache all right now you can see begin output from themes custom elan templates node node.html tweak now the template is being picked from our custom theme now let's go ahead and open the custom template file as you can see here now seeing the format to html now any changes you make here this will be retained irrespective when the base theme gets updated during the next update process so we have learned today how to create a bootstrap based sub theme and how to import or alter a base template in our custom theme. Thanks for watching guys.